Hi, I'm Stacy Sacco. I'm the manager of the video division of the City of Chandler's Communications Department. And I'm here to give you a tour of the video production facility. Um, let's start first right here in the City Council Chambers. First, let's look at the cameras. We have five cameras. We have two in the back, we have one on each side, and then we have one against this back wall here, kind of hidden, tucked in the wall. Actually, we have six cameras, because our sixth camera is hidden up real high up in the ceiling. You can see it, it's a little circle, and that's our dot camera. Our dot camera is used when presenters, um, maybe if they don't have a PowerPoint, which we can use from here too, um, using a laptop. Uh, if presenters just have maps that they want to show, they can use this dot camera. And as you can see here, um, Chandler Video rocks. I guess the video staff wants to send a very clear message. Um, another thing that we have here in the chambers, besides these cameras that, which are remotely controlled from the control room, we have at each position, there are uh, microphones. They also have control, each member, um, staff, and council has control on what they're seeing on their individual monitors. They can see their PC, they can see whatever's being presented at uh, the podium, or they can see broadcasts to see if we're getting a nice close-up of them. Our staff consists of four, um, four members. Uh, two are full-time, permanent full-time, and two are temporary. One of those temporary is a part-timer. I mention this because uh, this small staff is responsible for all video requests that come from every department in the city. And you can see our stuff on all the city web pages, all the city social media pages like Facebook, YouTube. So we kind of help out every department. We're a very, very busy group. All right, we're done with this room. Let's head over to the control room and take a look at that. And here is the control room. I am Julie, the part-time employee, and this room is the most important room you're gonna see on this tour, which is probably why I'm the one showing it to you. So let's take a look at the very cool stuff that we have in here. This is where everything comes to life. The control room really manages four different things. The council chambers, the studio, it's the master control of our channel, channel 11, and it also manages the Facebook and YouTube live. Right in front of you, this is our V-Desk. This is what we use to control um, the production of our council meetings, our planning and zoning meetings, all of our public meetings, as well as the studio shoots that we have in our studio that you will see momentarily. Stacy mentioned the five cameras. Here you go. You have our five cameras in there. It gives you good perspective on where those cameras are located in there. And then our hidden camera is what you see right here in your input six, seven, which is over there on the table back in the chambers. So very cool. You can switch just with a click of a button back and forth through these cameras. You can also touch. It's a touch screen as well. When we do public meetings, we have two people that work the public meetings. One person is responsible for the audio. Right here you have our audio board. Our audio board is equipped to be able to work with studio recordings as well as council chamber recordings. And then this system right here, we have control over the microphones that are in the council chambers over there as well as their microphone levels. And there, this is a very user-friendly system right at our fingertips. We have the ability to show what is out on those televisions out there. So you can see on the television monitors out in the council chambers, we have the ability to change what they're seeing, which is very, very cool, especially when they're doing presentations and stuff like that. Uh, this computer right here has the A-list, and what the A-list is all of our programs that go out to our cable channel. The channel is running 24-7 with awesome programming, so we sure hope you are watching it. Over here, this is how we uh, go YouTube Live, all of our public meetings, we go out to YouTube Live. Uh, some other things we do, Facebook Lives, that's, a lot of that's managed through here. You're just switching back and forth with a push of a button. So again, very user-friendly. 
The beauty of this control room is that we're able to go live, not only from the council chambers, but also from the studio, all using the same equipment. It's really quite incredible. And we're able to do a lot with a small staff. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. And there's a lot more to this room. But we're gonna go ahead and move over to another room. So going from the most important room to now the coolest room, come with me. Hey, I'm Courtney. I'm one of the other full-time video production specialists, and I would like to welcome you to our video production studio. All right, here I am sitting on one of our sets. We actually have three hard sets in the studio. One represents like a downtown feel type of area. The one that I'm sitting on now is kind of just like our uptown feel. We also have a hard set over there called Sprinklers Clubhouse, and that was actually a fire safety show that um, Stacey Sacco used to put on with some of our firefighters. Um, we also have a green screen behind you, and that is um, a really cool tool that we use in editing to basically put um, the subject anywhere that we want them in the world or even in like a fantasy world, which is really cool. We used it a lot in State of the City um, this year, 2020. So in the studio, we do a lot of mayor and council shows. So we'll have mayor and council come in if they want to do little PSAs. We also do the morning minute here. We also run a lot of different Facebook Lives. So we'll have all of mayor and council in. They'll come up, they'll sit on the stage usually and uh, be interviewed about various subjects. Um, we also do around town Tuesday from here. Um, you know, when the temperatures get too hot out in the summer, this is just a great place for us to be able to do some shows. So around town Tuesday on Tuesdays, you can catch it on our Facebook. We've had a lot of different people in here from those shows. We've actually had times when we've utilized all three of our sets and our floor space just to get all of our people in. A lot of times you can see performers and that sort of thing. And also given the current situation with everything going on with COVID, we've been working with a lot of different departments and getting their videos shot in here and utilizing the space. Now I'm gonna walk you through the process of how we do one of our live shows. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over here, hit the on air switch. We have a cool little light outside that lets people know that we're recording. Uh, you'll go over here, you'll put one of these headsets on. We actually use these to talk to each other. Um, we have three different cameras in here. So if we have three camera operators, um, we can each talk to each other. We also have someone that's back in that back room that's switching where you saw Juliet. Over here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all the lighting is up, um, you have it the way you want it, make sure everyone is well lit. And then you come over here, get ready to shoot. Here I am at the camera, filming these guys, trying to get that perfect shot. There's Stacy. there's Julie. All right, now that we have that final file, let's go see where we edit it. I didn't see you there. My name is Melina. I am a temporary full-time employee here and welcome to our video offices. Let me bring you in over here. This is our equipment room. This is where you're gonna find all of our video equipment. So down here, these big old bulky cameras are the 600s that we've had since Stacy was working here. So those are used for really big events like the Parade of Flights. If we do some concert series over for the Chandler Center for the Arts, those are the ones that we use. These other cameras, we have a black magic here. Julie is currently shooting on another Canon that we have. It's a DSLRs. We also have a Sony, a Sony mirrorless camera that we're using. Um, we have a live view system over here that we use out on the field to go live when we're doing some Facebook live events, stuff like that. We also have a drone. Courtney is our licensed pilot, but I'll be our licensed pilot soon too. All right, so let's go over here. Let's roll on by. Oh, what's this you might ask? It's a Telly Award. So our award-winning crew won this for last year's State of the City along with these other beautiful tellies. So right over here, we have our edit bays. This right here is Courtney's, as you can see. Now, this is where all the post-production magic happens. This is where we edit our videos, where Courtney does a bunch of effects to our videos, and we use Avid Media Composer. We also use 
Adobe After Effects, and we have multiple music libraries. And here's my edit bay. Welcome, welcome in. Come on in, Julie, come on in. Okay, so like Stacy mentioned before, we do videos for all, almost all of the city departments. Some of them that we work for are fire. We do some for Parks and Rec. We work for the Vision Gallery and the Chandler Center of the Arts. Of course, economic development and some for Mayor and Council. And all the video production team averages about 300 videos a year. With COVID-19 and virtual communication being vital, in these last two months alone, we've done over 90 videos. All right, that was the virtual tour. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you're staying healthy and you're staying safe. If you wanna check out some of our videos, you can go to our Facebook page, and also you can check out our YouTube channel. Thanks guys.